all right guys welcome back to another video so yeah in today's video um we are actually gonna um be starting with the art we have making the guard break in this episode this is also just gonna take this one episode and yeah but first we have to fix one thing from this episode because i don't know why but i forgot to do uh, get the oops, uh, get uh get descendants uh, get children here i forgot to do that and yeah okay then i also forgot to actually set the our last stop time attribute so let's open um our web server scroll down uh, to our blocking code and then uh, here we want to right after that we can do uh, last stop time and this, this is zero here um, and down here it's tick okay then uh, now let's start with the guard break uh, stuff so let's open our uh, blocking module boom and then right here we can uh, make a new uh, function so function module dot card break okay and that is gonna need the character all right and then also instead of doing uh, of set of having this here we can do a uh, wait a uh, uh, yeah after that we can do a uh, if enemy character gets uh, we can basically just copy this <laughs> uh, copy this and if we can move this up here and if it is like this then we can do a, a module dot guard break and send for the enemy character and then we can return here and we don't want to continue with the blocking effect and blocking animation stuff okay and um, now we can boom boom uh, make the yeah make the guard break so first we can copy this here but change it to our guard break effect if you have yours um yeah and but instead i don't want this to be there i just want this to be at the characters humanoid root part dot c frame okay and then i also want to stop all this animation so we need that uh, we need our uh, combat server combat module for that so Okay, server combat module. That is. Let's get our server storage modules. Uh, we have to also get server storage here. Boom, boom, server storage. And then server storage dot. Yeah, modules. And then here, server storage modules. Dot. Uh, yeah, dot combat module that was the one right yeah that was the correct one okay and now we can then just do uh, server combat module dot stop animations and character dot humanoid okay then we can also get our new blocking animations i again already have them prepared but just uh, go into your fist or like into your weapon folder then into blocking and then have a new animation and that's called guard break like this guard break and then your animation id and yeah and i'm just gonna copy them over for all of my um, weapons then Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay. And if you have that, we can continue. So we can just do character dot humanit dot animator uh, load animation. And then all we have to get the I oh know we have or oh, we have that here, right? Uh, web animations folder. Then again uh, character get attribute current weapon <coughs> current weapon like this and then blocking uh, dot guard break okay and play it obviously okay we can also now play some blocking sounds uh, guard break sounds sorry uh, I also have mine already prepared. I just have to copy them over real quick. Uh, boom. Boom. Yeah. Just make sure to have a new sound here that's called get back. I, from, I think it's always the same sound. Just this glass shattering. Yeah. Uh, so then we can do here sounds uh, sounds module dot play sound and then our sound so uh, weapons sounds then uh, wait we can actually just let me just copy this over uh, but change uh, enemy ca character also here and change blocked to guard break. Okay. Um boom boom set this blocking. We can also set this this blocking attribute to false. And we can now actually stun him. So let's get our stun handler. Mm, let's do server combat module uh, but replace this to a stun handler. And um, that was, uh, where was it? <clears throat> I think it was in here. No, in here. Yeah. Um, so, so search modules dot other dot sun handler. Okay. And then we can just do a sun handler dot sun. Our characters. Uh, here right. And I want them to be stunned for two seconds when they got broken. Okay. Um, yeah, we can try this out now. And then I also want to do one more thing. Uh, so let's try to with our locking dummy. I can actually open yeah, the blocking. Wait, I can just do it like this. Uh, yeah, have this open. We have no arrows. Okay, I can't have this open, I think. Oh. Yeah, okay, no. And now, boom, he got guard broken. And he isn't blocking anymore. Okay. That's perfect, we got also no earth. But I just want to add one more thing that's kind of gonna make it look better. So, uh, let's open Combat VX, VF, VFX Handler because I want to add highlights now. Um, you don't have to do this, but I just think it looks pretty cool. So, if action equals to uh, uh, um, highlight, <clears throat> then uh, here we can get the character, the duration of the highlight, the fill color, and the uh, outline color. Okay. And that equals to the dots. <clears throat> now we can create the highlights. So local highlights equals to instance of new highlight. Then highlight dot parent equals to the character. Then highlight dot def mode is an enum dot highlight def mode dot occluded. I don't want it to be visible through words. Um, highlight dot fill transparency 
Uh, I want that to the start with point two. Then highlight dots. Um, fill color. If it's to our fill color. And then highlight dot. Uh, outline transparency. If it's to zero. Then highlight dot. Uh, outline color. If it's to uh, our outline color. And then we want to train it, so local train. Uh, train. Oh, we can, yeah, we can do this here though. So local train go equals to uh, curly brackets. Then our pill transparency. That to one and outline uh, transparency to one. Okay. Now let's make the train so. Um, tune service. Oh, we don't have the tune service yet. Okay. <laughs> then let's get a tune service. So local TS equals to getting a service tune service. Okay. So uh, tune service create. Great. Um, highlight. Then tune info dot new. Then for the duration. Uh, enum dot is sign dot I'm just gonna use sign and enum dot is in direction is in and out. I'm always using that. <laughs> I think it looks pretty decent. Um then we can do a twin call and we can play the twin. Okay. And what we also have to do is let's get the debris service. So local debris get to game get service debris and then debris and add item highlight and you want to destroy it after the duration okay now we can use this so open up your blocking module and i'm just gonna go up here um we can do the same here but instead of combat effects we want to have highlight and then we want to have the uh, character, the duration, and the uh, colors and stuff. Okay, so character. Then I want to highlight to last for two seconds, just like I was done. And then for the colors, I want it to the, be like a red for the fill color, and for the outline color, like a bit of a darker red. I think this will be uh, pretty neat. And what we also can do is add this highlight to our general combat so i can open hit servers and here we can also give them a highlight now and i just want this to be a white one i said you don't have to do this but i think it looks pretty cool so now when we hit someone he's gonna flash uh, like white and yeah i'm just gonna uh, <laughs> uh, one character <laughs> Our character slashing right. Let's do a uh, E character. Our enemy character. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see him flashing right. I think that looks really cool. Okay, and uh, now let's get him guard break and see how the highlight looks. Yep, just this little one. Okay, yeah, I think this looks pretty neat. So yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Um, but yeah, this was uh, it for this episode. Um, next episode is probably gonna be the pairing. And yeah, that's is hopefully also just gonna be about one episode. I don't think it's gonna be longer. I also maybe have to kind of fix this. I mean, it's not really important. Because also vanishes, um, but maybe I can fix this with um, the director module. But yeah, the also director module is now available for F15. I mean, it's already available for F15 for a while now. But yeah, I just wanted to say this: if you're following this tutorial um, and are using R15, or you just want to use my director module in general. But yeah. Um, Thanks a lot for watching, have a great day.
and see you. Bye.